question for you. <clears throat> uh, let's say who who's the richest woman in the world? Let's, uh, uh, let's Jeff Bezos' say. wife. No, fuck her. Let's, let's say Beyonce. She's 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 the richest woman. I'm gonna say Beyonce though, cause we we we, okay, we just, so you're dealing in black and in Latino, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's say Beyonce, right? When we say J Lo, I'm fucking with you, guy. Beyonce. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's say Beyonce, right? She comes to you. She says. All right, listen, I'm going I'm to make your dreams come true. Everything you ever dreamed since you was fucking five years old is going to happen. But you got to play the back. What would you do? Um, I think... Talk to the mic, please. Oh, excuse me. Um, I don't know. Just, I'm a... I'm, me, per- I can't speak for all men. I just know... I'm talking about you. Me, I'm personally? You. Where, like, where... Like, she going... Bring everything you want in life. She, she's gonna bring to that to fruition. I have, I have but to you gotta lead. put it back though. I ha- I mean, I, I can't. I, I'm not a simp. I can't. I have to lead somehow, some way. I mean, we'll have an in amazing what chapter. What sense would that make you a simp? Because you're not catering to her. She just said play the back. Feeding, if she's feeding your lifestyle, that means that you are um, you're you're you're, you're comfortable. And I think that it's really important for hunter gatherers. So if so, let's just type right? it. Wait, ho- hold on. So my question is: Is when was the last time you walked out of your house with a club to go slap a fucking T Rex upside that? But my, but that's dead. You know what I mean? Yeah, that you know, hunger is dead. That's that's it, how. It isn't though. That, I, no, we're I, so far I, I past that is no, ridiculous. No, I understand what he's saying. Like the need is there. I get that. But the reality meets the need at some point. Like like for example, like if if she wants to take you out on a date, she want to pay for everything. You're gonna deny that. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun for, but look at look at Nicki Minaj and what Safari. No, I'm actually, I'm actually. I'm just saying, and that's how that goes. Listen, that that if she's le- listen, if she's uh, feeding all your desires, you have to understand that that could change. That's that's only gonna last for so long. Just like mm-hmm. how she's making it happen for you, she can make it happen for someone else, and she knows that. So why yeah, would I feed that monster? I mean, I, I, I'll I'll ha- I'll I'll take a trip. You know, we could have a definitely a good. T- I'm gonna run it up. I'm gonna run it up to however you want to run it up. Of course, I'm gonna run it up. Of course, I'm gonna run it up. Of course, like, like why I, not? I, you jack me, cool. You take. Yeah. Wait, so wait, so wait, so why wouldn't you? In that case, right? Why wouldn't you want a powerful woman? Because then that makes the fucking options go to the roof. You just said if she if she willing to do it, you are gonna take it. So now if she's ten levels up above that, that's I mean, I would. You gonna get from that? I wouldn't, but I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. want a more. I'm speaking for myself. Yeah, yeah. I want a, a most financial, educated, sexiest, powerful woman I can find. That's me. I don't want no stoop pigeon. I don't want that little shit. I want big dog shit. Highest I can find. That's what I want. Yeah. Because I know it comes with an endless amount of, it comes with a whole menu. Why would I want that whole menu? Why would I want a stoop pigeon? Why would I want that? Because, oh, um, Because I don't know when you, when too much of anything is bad for you. I feel like too much of you know a woman with too much anything, a man with too much of anything, too much water will smoke you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, I think it's. I I, I feel like I need more. Um, you need uh, balance. I need more like like um, I'm trying to understand. You need more control in that situation. I need yeah. I, I'm not gonna date something that I can't control. There goes and lies exactly what we were getting at this entire time. Because you could have left with that and we could have kept the going conversation. Wait, so wait, you want, wait. Hold on, wait, wait. Let I, me I say it again. It. Let me say it again. Let me say it one more no, time. no, no. He doesn't need to. He said it. I got it. <laughs> so control is a big aspect for you, whether it's control of the relationship, yeah. control of the finances. You don't think it's not, it's not big for you? You don't have control of your relationship? I've been in I enough have... instances in my life where control was taken from me. Correct? Right? And, now, uh, I don't on. know. Before, I don't know. Before, you tell me. Wait, no, no. If you've ever been locked up. If you haven't been snatched by the cops, yeah. right? Cats were in the military. Control's taken from you. You get a new understanding of control through that, right? Because there's a certain level of power when I give my control up. I control that. That's you, my power. Yeah, I'm you control that. Correct. But if I give it to another person, it's only because I feel confident and comfortable with that person to give up that control. Meaning, if that woman is sitting here killing the game and she's doing big things, I'm willing to give up my control in that situation because I know that her aspirations are going to help me as much as they help her and that my dreams will be gotten the same way hers are because normally our goals are going to align. Can I speak to that? 
So I'm speaking through experience. Like, it's times where I felt like macho, right? Yeah. I felt alpha, like, bitch, I'm I'm saying we doing this, right? Let's just say hypothetically the car crash, right? It's just it's metaphorically, right? I said, bitch, we going left in the car crash, right? But then it's a time where she said, babe, I think we should go right. And we go right, and there's a pot of gold over there. So you kind of got to weigh your options out. You can't just say what I say goes because you might crash. Yeah, she might course. have She might have insight to a better way that you might not have. So you got to, personally, me, I need to trust my significant other because... That's why she's my significant other. True, but by your statement, but, yeah. by your statement earlier, you're sitting here stating that you don't want her to say anything. You're going down with the ship with me. Nah, like, I mean, there's so many different scenarios. If if she's my woman, she knows how I think. She knows if we're aligned, then she knows how I operate. Correct. If she knows how you operate, she's probably yeah. Gonna so there's sh- balance, right? No, no, there's no. balance, the, right? The balance would be she knows you like she's her a, shutting the fuck yeah. up. So she's going to shut the fuck, the fuck up, up and never question you. That's true. Because that's true. Nah, cause, cause it, that's correct. That's, guess he's, he's right about you. that, bro. Because you, I'm just going about right what you that. said, bro. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we paint, we paint these expectations the same way we sell women or we tell men that they paint these expectations that they're never going to get. We all do it. Right? Whatever relationship you wind up in, I promise you, Pa, I wish yeah. the best for you. Yeah. It's probably not going to be the best version of what you want. It'll be as close as you can get, but it won't be that. And there'll be certain things that you're going to give up on, Right? But for the most part, you're always going to shoot for the best version. It's just never going to be that. Because the 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 fantastic view of what we want is always going to be on a pedestal. What mm. we get isn't going to hit there. It might be Until you sit here there, and yeah. start understanding that setting expectations for other people, right, is good. And realizing that not everyone's going to fit the expectations that you set out. Because sometimes your expectations are too high. Or sometimes your expectations are too niche. Like, I want a very specific woman. Like, if Shorty can't sit here, and when she does a ballet twi- twist, she has to do it on her left foot, and it has to be on her big toe. And if I start continuing to put myself in a smaller and smaller box, my chance of finding that person is going to become really, really hard. That's why I said when it comes to marriage in the beginning in the beginning of um, this uh, conversation, I said you need to lower your standards for something more long-term. Mm-hmm. So, all right, so my question. It's not lowering standards. It's adjusting, right? Lowering your standards I means I don't, I don't want to... I want someone keep, up here. If you're keeping it high. But the thing is, so there's two parts of that. We just was all, we was high, right? You said high, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone right. said high. We was all high, right? No, no, no. Adjusting is... Adjusting doesn't right. necessarily mean going down. So you're going adjusting, higher? No, adjusting means well, adjusting you means. mix something off and bring something else up. F- f- to stay with the high. Correct. To stay with right? the high. There's certain things that made me, all right, cool. You know what? Let's take you, for instance. You're a high earner. Cool. Bam. There goes one of them, Right? Let's say you're not as thoughtful as some other people, but I wanted a thoughtful dude. Boom. All right. Well, that comes off. Well, what else do you do? Well, you're really big on family, right? That's not something that I originally had up there. Boom. That goes. So that takes the place of the thing I dropped off. Mm. You're not dropping it down. You're just adjusting it, meaning that you still have the same criteria. You're just focusing on different things. I agree. You're not dropping your standards. You're keeping them high, right? And at the end of the day, sometimes no matter how high your standards are, that one person comes around who changes your entire dynamic. Mm. And now your standards fit that person because that person might be your person. I I've had like, that happen in my life. I where feel like I you alter that. your standards with a, a female more attractive. So now, I, I feel alter, and I alter, feel like most men, most men now, I'll alter their one. standards for more attractive women. Initially. But that goes back to the supply and demand. But that's, a, that's only initially, though. Like, what do you mean? Because... All right, so let's say I have a it's a room full of girls. Obviously, the one that's the most attractive, I'm gonna bend, I'm gonna bend over for her, or I'm gonna bend backwards for her because I want, I want her, right? But once I get her, she comes with things that I probably didn't want because you never went past the surface level of her looks. Exactly. So that means I have to bend again. But, then, but you, that means I have to bend you're again. Starting, you're starting you feel to realize me? the supply and demand and that I gave you earlier because you're sitting here and your demand for a certain aspect of that woman in that instance doesn't fit your demands for what you want long term. But you're willing to put out so much for that one instance. That's why their value drops up so high. It jumps up so high for that reason. You're I like know. I, as us as men are causing that problem. Period. Nah, it's not women. Uh, women are I mean, only going to the market. The same way, like I said, I did it with milk. It's really simple. If we stop buying milk, the price of milk drops. 
That's how markets work. I hear a lot of people talk about the dating market, the sexual market. It yeah. seems like they don't understand how fucking markets work. Mm 